Hi, I'm Kaylin Chiarello Ebner, the Managing Editor of Special Projects for Pharmaceutical Executive. I'm here today with Brian Williams, the Chief Digital Officer for Life Sciences at Cognizant. Thanks so much for being here today, Brian. My pleasure, Kayla. So we have a really interesting topic to discuss today, enabling transformation in life sciences through digital health solutions. So in working with your clients, Brian, over the last 18 months or so, how have you seen the life sciences industry evolve in the face of the global pandemic? Uh, well, Kaylin, as, as you and your readers likely know, Cognizant uh, already works with the majority of the biopharmaceutical industry, 30 of the top 30 and 13 of the top 15 medical device firms. And we've been working pretty closely with them over these last 18 months to help them advance their science as well as to improve patient outcomes. But what we've seen across the board is that the pandemic has really accelerated everyone's digital efforts. Uh, it's served as an incubator right, and a commercialization driver on digital tools and solutions and how biopharma and med device companies can more effectively connect with clinicians and patients and continue to deliver health and health care. But what we've found is that in response to the pandemic, some of those companies have responded in a more strategic manner and others in a more tactical approach. So today, are, are companies um, continue on that path of digital acceleration? Uh, yes, they are. We've, we've seen a number of pilots, and I think all of us as consumers have experienced this as well, consumers of healthcare, right? Uh, when the pandemic first uh, unfolded here in the US, we had you know, doctors using Facebook as a means to communicate or to schedule appointments. Uh, we had consumers using devices, consumer devices like an Apple Watch to start to track vital signs, to share information back with their clinicians. We had a rapid evolution in terms of the clinical trial environment. Many initially shut down and then biopharma manufacturers and medical device manufacturers questioning how they can continue to deliver a clinical trial, particularly for life-saving therapies in the midst of a pandemic. And, and this market transformation, as I said a moment ago, really served as an incubator and an accelerator. And we've seen that in the market uh, and quite dynamically so. In fact, I think Rock Health in their recent market analysis said that in this calendar year of 2021, we've had over $20 billion invested in new digital health tools and platforms, as well as additional investment in existing platforms all of which have uh, scaled rapidly in response to the market as biopharma manufacturers, medical device manufacturers and consumers uh, struggled to adapt to this market. But what we are starting to see and hear from our customers now is we have become more accustomed to this pandemic driven environment is that all of this innovation and innovation in particular technologies innovation in particular therapeutic categories has led to an overwhelming or at times unwieldy uh, environment of technology platforms, technology solutions, and technology tools. And so the biopharma and med device companies are now really kind of confronted with this mismatched collection of tools and applications uh, that may not always connect easily with each other, may not connect cleanly into the treatment pathways that a doctor or a patient is trying to follow, may not even link effectively within their enterprise uh, between their clinical and commercial domains as they capture more and more information and try to understand how they can more effectively target and tailor their therapies and devices. And so ultimately, while the pandemic has served as this accelerator and an incubator, it's also increased significantly the volume, the velocity, and the variability of data that's available to clinicians and consumers and to biopharma and med device companies. And it's making it a bit messier because of this volume, velocity, and variability. It's making it a bit messier and a bit more difficult to analyze that information to derive clinical and care insights. You just made a, a lot of really great points. And just 
digging in on those comments you made about the, the messy environment and, and digital health tools, I'm wondering um, what are companies doing to regain control and capture value from this wide range of digital health tools? Yeah, it's another uh, great question, Caitlin. They are, uh, the leaders we're finding are now looking at this estate of digital assets that they have accumulated over the last 18 months and really trying to define and understand some of the processes and standards that they want to put in place so that they can sustain a digital health advantage into the future. Uh, hopefully we get past this pandemic environment, but the experts project that we will see more events like this. And quite frankly, we're seeing consumers becoming much more comfortable with engaging with digital tools and accessing the health and healthcare systems through those tools. So we fully expect the need for uh, these applications and this demand for digital advantage to continue for biopharma and med device companies. And while there's clearly a discrete need for applications or tools for specific activities, for example, how do I find an investigator for a clinical trial? Uh, how do I engage a patient, uh, right? Vastly different between a cardiovascular patient versus an oncology patient versus a diabetic patient. Um, so these discrete applications and the number of them are leading biopharma and med device companies to say, how do we look at this and approach this from a platform standpoint? How do we look at the data that's being generated in a holistic way? Is there an ability for us to simplify some of these things? Uh, simplify, for example, device connectivity, uh, simplify compliance uh, with a ever expanding and evolving regulatory landscape evolve how our tools and solutions help clinicians access reimbursement for the digital tools and services that they're supplying in part with our therapy to drive and manage a course of treatment. Uh, and so we see uh, these examples of leaders now saying, how can I take this forward and use a platform approach that allows me to look at the clinical and commercial applications of digital health tools look at them across therapeutic areas and use uh, analytics tools in a holistic way. Uh, one example of this in the marketplace today is Novartis and their decision uh, not too terribly long ago to select Philips uh, digital health suite platform as an enterprise solution to solve some of their digital health challenges. Uh, the Health Suite platform from Philips is built on an AWS cloud environment, and, and it brings the scale, the capacity, and then the tools that Philips has built on top of it to deliver those secure, compliant platform that biopharma and med device companies need to drive their digital health advantage. That was a great example that you brought up, and I'm wondering what more can you tell us about this alliance with Philips? Well, we announced this uh, alliance and collaboration with Philips uh, earlier this year in 2021, and we did it in response in large measure to what we're hearing from our customers and their desire for an ability to, to find a vendor, a partner that could deliver an end-to-end -end digital health solution that provides demonstrable health and economic benefits in clinical or commercial settings. So this alliance really brings together the strengths of both of our organizations. You have in Philips Health Suite platform, an organization like Philips with decades of experience in the medical device and healthcare industry. And using that to build on top of AWS Health Suite, an orchestration layer uh, that sets a number of standards and tools and provides that compliance and regulatory and security aspects that are necessary and when we marry that with Cognizant's digital engineering expertise, uh, we really can now envision as well as deliver and maintain leading edge digital health solutions at scale, right? The, the platform really securely stores that healthcare data and can provide with our digital engineering and analytics capabilities, the ML and AI tools and solutions that deliver the insights in a timely fashion that biopharma and med device companies want. 
while still doing that with industry leading interoperability, connectivity and regulatory compliance. In fact, just the device connectivity piece of the Health Suite platform on its own has over a hundred devices already available through an API. It's a point and click, right? Or a drop down menu, very simple to do, right? It accelerates that time to market for a solution, right? There's billions of images that are already stored, genomic testing data and others. So this collaboration really allows us again to build, deploy, implement and operate those client specific applications on HealthSuite to deliver an end-to-end -end solution. Uh, they can be customized by therapeutic category. Uh, the analytics obviously can vary, but these solutions now built on a platform allow biopharma and med device companies to deliver these solutions, digital health solutions by therapeutic category in a commercial setting, in a clinical setting where there's a hybrid or decentralized trial that needs to be designed and run but using the platform again to accelerate that time to market that we're building applications on top of the platform. We're not worried about building a technology stack. We're not concerned about finding the right vendor with the right tool to then integrate into some environment that we've designed and into a clinical trial protocol. That's very interesting, thank you. And I'm wondering how is the market responding to this collaboration? Well, uh, you know, as I said a moment ago, we really believe the future of digital health is linking people to their care in more personalized ways and through a connected ecosystem of care. And we're finding that this uh, perspective that we have is really shared by the majority of the biopharma and med device companies, as well as their partners in care access and delivery, uh, the healthcare providers, the clinicians, and the care support teams that are providing that. So even those biopharma and med device companies that reacted perhaps initially in a tactical way to the challenges that the pandemic presented, or those that started to approach it from a strategic way, uh, both sides of that equation, the clients are responding to us and market leaders are responding to the alliance uh, very positively. And now really understanding what a platform like Health Suite built on top of AWS can provide them, how it provides the standardization, how it provides the flexibility to build tools and applications to deliver specific and personalized digital health solutions to patients, and to do that in a faster, more repeatable fashion. So we're quite bullish on the platform itself. We're even more convinced that the digital health transition that we've seen in the last 18 months in response to COVID will be the way we operate going forward. And so platform solutions uh, like HealthSuite will allow leaders to maintain their advantage and their competitive it, edge in that new digital environment. Fantastic, Ryan. And thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your insights with us. My pleasure, Kayla.